What's up, what's up, friends and family? Welcome back to Baller's World Live. We have in the studio with us today writer, singer, producer, artist, just beast of musical <laughs> talent. <laughs> Lonnie Burrell in the studio today, and 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 um, and before before welcome, brother. Thank First you, of all, man. welcome. Thank you, And brother. you have a you have a single out called I D G A F No Mo. I couldn't really say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I D G A F. You know what it means, okay? Yeah, you, you know, know what, what it means, mean, man. That, you know it's a, a a good buzz record. Just letting my fan base know that I'm coming back. I've yes. been writing and producing for a long time, and. And singing background and touring with Chris Brown and Man. Jamie Foxx and all these guys for a long time and took wow. a break from myself as an artist. And so I just wanted to let my fans know I was coming back. But I actually have a new single that's getting ready to drop like this month. Me and Cap G just shot a video. Oh, that's right. And I wanted to give it to y'all today, but the powers that be are fighting me. Uh, oh, see, you see? Oh, man. You see how they try to do us? Yeah. <laughs> we could have <laughs> done like a Ballers World World premiere. Well, can right. we get that when it's time to drop? Can absolutely. we get that? Absolutely. Okay, absolutely. Cool. You, know, you know Billboard won it first and right. you know, people like You got to run it through to run it through. Yeah, I know yeah, how it goes. Yeah, y'all going to get it though. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. Appreciate it. Sure, sure, we'll Thank y'all for having me and and all the music that y'all have ever supported that I wrote and produced and things like that, man. No man. problem. And I mean, and and now again, you've worked with Bust Rhymes, Chris Brown, Jamie. F- I mean, the biggest people in music. You've been a part of their projects and you've yeah. done some stuff with them. So, uh, I mean, yeah, man, we definitely play some of your music. Already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. You literally can do everything I can't. So, wow. Yeah, believe well, it you, or that not. Sound, I, well, He's that, like naming those off, and I'm like, no, can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. <laughs> yeah. But. I have a question. How did you get your stage name? How did that come about? Well, my nickname, Lonnie, came from my my name, Alonzo. Okay. And so, you know, I'm a junior, and uh, my dad's name was Lonnie, so I was just always Lil Lonnie. So it just um, flowed that easily? Yeah. (laughs) And and then the last name is just Burrell. That's my real last name. It's not a stage thing. I thought it was going to be some, some yeah. crazy story behind like, it. Oh, People have like, I looked up in the dictionary on page 872 <laughs> but and you, like that word. I will tell you what's interesting about my last name, the way it's spelled, like Be Real. Be Real, yeah. Um, and it's pronounced Burrell, like Kim Burrell or MC Hammer's last name, Burrell. But um, it's an alias that my great-grandfather, uh, he got upset with the family. He was he was Mexican. And so uh, he got upset with the family in Waco, Texas, moved to Arizona. Waco. And it was originally the Villarreal, the V-I-L-L-A-R-E-A-L. And I'm sure you've seen that before. Yeah, Villarreal, um, yeah. <clears throat> and so he, he moved and married a black woman and changed it to B-E-R-E-A-L, Burrell, because he didn't want them to find him. Wow. And so he just started Damn. a whole new legacy. That's wild. Mm-hmm. Flipped it. Yeah. See, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not going to do that. But you, you could, that's so it's actually kind of Spanish. Do, just like, you know? That's awesome. Boom. Yeah. And just switch it up on them. Yeah. Well, I have a question for you. You know, the man behind the brand, you know, there are a lot of aspiring artists out here. Yeah. And you oftentimes hear people, oh, you just need to stick to one thing. Or you're trying to be a jack of all trades. You know, you've produced music, singing, right? Mm-hmm. Writing. How does it, one, make you feel to, to know that you've had such an impact on other artists' careers? But then the other side is, is there's not a face to it, if you will. You know what I mean? You know, it, it, um, what's crazy when I look back at my career and, yeah. I, and like, I've had some people recently ask me, Lonnie, how many songs do you have out of? Correct. Lonnie, how many awards do you have? And I've never really counted. I was always just one of those guys I was enjoying what I was doing, having yeah. fun, and, mm-hmm. and just kept my head down, uh, always staying humble, you know, and I didn't realize it for a long time, the things that I had done until I said, you know what, I need to be able to answer these questions for my friends. <laughs> right. And one day I just opened up my laptop and, and looked at the catalog. I'm like, what? And they're like, you did that and you did that. And I'm like, I forgot I did that. And, and I forgot, yeah. it's 185 songs. That, well, that's and, so and so, you know, And that leads me to my next question when I talk about inspiring artists. And you just, you just basically said it. You stuck with your passion. You wasn't keeping track of you yeah. know, how many songs to go brag or boast. You were doing yeah. what you love. So when did, when did you realize that and, and not thinking about the money, but saying this is what I want to do. Um, it was something that was just an assignment to my purpose. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Um, I can't tell you that that what I'm doing today is something that I originally wanted to do. Like I used right. to hoop. You know what I mean? Yeah. I used okay. to play the drums. I I love pets. Yeah. And you know, um, so and, you had other passions. Yeah, I had other passions, and and you know, this one was just one I couldn't get away from. It tugged at me. You know, for years, it was something I was born in, I was gifted with, naturally, and and I had no choice, you know, being a PK, 
You yeah. know, uh, so you were a preacher's kid. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, I, I was bet forced you yeah. to be around the music. Yeah. You know, the Burrell family is a huge musical yeah. family. Yeah, and so I just happened to be gifted and and uh, and I understand work ethic. We grew up in a very competitive environment. You know, and being an athlete, I'm competitive. So. Yeah. Uh, the Burrell family being so big, I have a lot of cousins that sing and play yeah, and write and things like that. So, you know, I, I have the spirit of Jordan, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. And you're not gonna, my work ethic is going to be what it needs to be to be the best. You so, know I mean? so, so, so just so we can let our listeners know, I know you're not wanting to brag, but how many tracks have you laid out, you know, since you've been doing this, like, big hits? Man, I, I don't know. I, I, I really need to go and count it, you know what I mean? Um I, I remember the ones I have awards for. You Can you know, name those, you know, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, Chris Brown Strip. Okay. Um, uh, Tank, Please Don't Go. We just want That's our fans all. to know who they rocking. Please. You know what I'm saying? That, Who's the man? Hey, that Please Don't Go. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah. Ariana Grande right there featuring Big Sean. Mm-hmm. All right. That was a hit. Um, uh, Fabulous She Wildin' featuring Chris Brown. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chris Brown with the Bed featuring Ludacris. Yeah. Uh, Pleasure P under I got a Grammy nomination for, and uh, I think that might be. Oh, that's that's about that's it. Like, right? that's, like, that's like all of those <laughs> are Grammy yeah, nominated, yeah, right? Yeah. And that then might, Chris Brown, I can transform you. I got a oh, platinum. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. just that's a record right there. All right, say <laughs> no more. <laughs> and and, and, oh, yeah. and so <laughs> speaking back about your your the way you you got started, you you started out as a drummer, right? Yeah, yeah. And and, uh, and and how did you then transition into the rest of it? Was it like you were drumming, then you were like, let me just make some beats and well, then write something to it and <laughs> then sing to it and then well, now you know, take over. Um, in the in the in the studio, I actually started as a songwriter and and uh, and just you know just singing. I was trying to find myself. Uh, I could play the drums at the time, but I had cousins that were producing them successfully in the game. My older cousins and, you know, a younger cousin that was doing Maya, My Love is Like, Whoa at 16 and, yeah. you know, playing for Aaliyah, you know, the Burrell family. That's just yeah. what we've always done. And and so they were handling the music. I, one day I had put the sticks down. To be honest with you, I was kind of forced to sing often in my life. And I'll never forget crying in front of the church and having to <laughs> sing. They're like, come on, Lonnie, this is a great job. Yeah. And so I was like, I don't want to do this, you know. Right. But over time, it, it you know, I, I went on ahead and submitted to the to the assignment. So right, and and yeah, and just stepped up to the plate. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's man. been a beautiful manifestation for sure, to say the least. Absolutely, man. I'm looking forward to to giving the world some more. You know, me and Snoop so, working on some stuff. And, yeah, what? Well, tell us about that know. project. What, uh, can you share? Can you go into anything? In I can detail? share a little With bit. That, you yeah, know, I want to keep the surprises. I don't want to blow the surprises, but. You know, it is a it is a gospel album that Snoop is working on. Wow! And, wow! And it's going to shock you. You, you heard know. it here first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Snoop. He he God. he's going to shock the world with this one. You know, we got he's merging the best of both worlds. You okay. know, and and it's a great energy. It's great inspirational music. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. There's I, some other. There's a film coming behind it as well. And, yeah. And there's going to be a volume two. So you know, we're working on that right now. Okay, that's amazing. Man, I'm, I, I was excited to have you on because I, I know a lot of the people around you, but you said you were a hooper, and I wanted to ask you, <laughs> how'd you feel about the finals? How'd you feel about... Because we have we have musicians and artists yeah, yeah, yeah. on there, and, and, and they're like, well, I don't really watch basketball, so uh, don't oh, ask no, me nothing man. about it. You, you're but, supposed to do that. You yeah. Know, you're a man. <laughs> yeah. You, know? you got to be into some type I don't want to say it, man. but yeah. yeah. But so, so so how'd you feel about the finals, man? Did did your team win, yeah. or did your team get spanked? No, I'm happy, man. <laughs> okay, I'm happy. I, I, yep. You know, I've loved KD since he played in Texas, yeah. in Austin, you know what I mean? Like, I follow him, and he's always been a great guy, you know, aside from the parties we've had and things like <laughs> that. You know, he, he's looked out for me when I was standing outside the club and couldn't get any like he with me. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So me and KD always been cool. and, and um, But I, I, I like what happened. You know, I feel like uh, the Warriors, they, they, they got cheated last year. You mm-hmm. know, I cheated? felt like... Yeah, that same way they got I'm cheated. Just, I'm just saying, oh, I okay. felt like. Right. I'm not okay. saying they did. Take a little far. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying I felt like you know when, when I LeBron, feel the same way. When LeBron provoked <laughs> Me too. Draymond Green to you know to the leg and, kick, and to the leg went, kick, yeah, and they got, got him suspended with no technical tail. foul called, <laughs> right. and you know Bogut gets hurt trying to overplay for for yeah. what's missing, and yeah. and so you know the game is the game, let, but. Let, let me ask you this. Do you think that KD really elevated this team? Do you think if KD wasn't on this team, we'd, we'd see the same outcome? No, I think they would have. I think they might have lost. Bingo. Told you, James. 
Listen, because now, no, no, hold up. Now, if they didn't have KD, they would have gotten somebody else and they would have worked them because into the system yeah, and they would have made it yeah. work because the system is what won that game. Who they gonna, their who system, they gonna go get their system KD. spanked the Cavaliers' system. They didn't do it last year Period. with that yeah. same team. But guess what? They couldn't stop KD. That, that's True, why that's LeBron why had to make the call and yeah. say, please, can you get him off me? He kicked me. <laughs> but, you know, it, but I say that because of what they lost for KD. Yeah. Right. Now, if yeah. they didn't get KD and had the same team, I feel like they would have came back and handled business. Correct. Uh, it might have went seven. It wasn't going to be five. No, yeah, it, wasn't I mean, be, it definitely wasn't going to be five. Yeah. I wouldn't yeah. disrespect him like that. Yeah, that's why I'm saying. I think he was that he was that MJ for them to help Absolutely. them close out and put a, you yeah. know, it was a great move, him coming yeah. there and them obviously luring and getting him there. So I just wanted to get your opinion on I that. love That's it, all. man. You know, I'm not mad at KD at all. You know, LeBron did what he did over the course of his career and, you know, you got the other ones, but KD, he did what he needed yeah. to do yeah, and he happened. deserves it. Well, we got to, we got to cut to go to break. But before second, we do, yeah. let's, let's, t- how can people connect with you, Lonnie? Like yeah. social media, at Alonzo, be real. Okay. At Alonzo B. Real on, on uh, Instagram and, and Twitter, and then I'm Lonnie Burrell, is L O N N Y, not I E, you okay. know, um, on Facebook and things like that. I, I'm I'm on Snapchat at Alonzo B. You know, holla at me. And uh, and before we go, we're gonna we're gonna actually kick it over to DJ Mister E. He's gonna be playing I D G A F. Oh y'all gonna no rock more. that thing? Yeah, we're gonna, yeah. You know what I'm saying? we're gonna play it out. <laughs> that's cool with you, man. Yeah, absolutely. We want to hear. We want to let the fans hear. So shout out to Manny Appreciate Burrell. you coming in, brother. Y'all. Man. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir. Yeah. Let's do it, Mister E.